Hey, good afternoon. My name is Carrington, Lee Carrington with Affordable Maintenance Services, and we're about to go live here to talk about HVAC and our program here in South Carolina, trying to put South Carolinians back to work. All right. Can you tell me about um, some of the things you've got here and what people will be learning while they're here? All right, in HVAC training, we have our HVAC book. And this right here is a pressure temperature chart, because if you know the pressure, you know the temperature. If you know the temperature, you know the pressure. This is how we put gauges on the unit, and we actually tell people what's wrong with this system. It's low on charge. This is your indoor fan motor. We teach our program. We teach each one of these wires have a meaning, like white is neutral, red is low speed, black is high speed, blue is medium speed. You can do nothing in this field without a meter. You must have a meter. So we use our fluke meters to understand how to check power, bolts, controls, amps, all that is including my nice toolkit here that we teach and we try to get some individual tools if we have the money allocated for those things. Okay, so we provide tools for on-house and in-house training, but at the end of the program we ask you, you must have your own tools. You read the paper, must have own tools and always in every single ad you see. With our social distance, we're now doing everything online. I'll bring this down and step back my seven feet. We do a lot of our programs online now. This way I can do 15 online. And what I do is, since it's a Monday, Wednesday class, I bring seven in on Monday, I let them train, and I bring seven in on Wednesday. That way we flip flop a little bit and get some in hand, hands on training. But most of time it's 15 online, Monday and Wednesday night, six o'clock to 9 p.m. is you've got to touch it. This is not a spectator sport. You've got to get in the game. It's not like you just go online. You must touch it. I have to break this whole system down to the students. From the motherboard to the gas. So if I ask a student, they might want to call me. But the one thing we do guarantee is any student that graduates from here has my personal phone number. So when they get on the job site, they can call me if they're running into trouble. Because right now, we're getting people started out between $18 to $25 an hour. And we have at least 15 to 20,000 in a shortage of good maintenance technicians. Components of the heating system, this is electric heat strips, this is on a heat pump, this is a reversing valve, a three-way reversing valve. I teach capacitors, if you notice the top of that, a dual capacitor. This is a single capacitor. This right here is the motherboard. These are limit switches, meaning this. This is a sequencer that the limit switch energize the sequencer, and if something goes wrong, the unit overheats, it will shut your sequencers off. This is your contact, pressure switch, and a compressor. These are the components that make a system up. And all that's controlled by what you have in your house, the thermostat. This is the backside of the thermostat. Because if a homeowner could do it itself, they wouldn't call you. So even behind it, not only do I teach the heating and air conditioning, but for one week, I teach the sinks to understand plumbing, I teach the toilet, toilet bowls, how to rebuild the toilet bowl. With your grandma in my house, you shake it like this, no more shaking, we fix it. So it's about HVAC and multifamily maintenance we do here at the Portable Maintenance Services here on Carolyn Boulevard. A partnership with South Carolina SC works because I believe with what you have and what we have, if we put that together, we can really get South Carolinians back to work. Yes. Right now, with the shortage of the maintenance techs, and not even just men, women, Mm -hmm. I've had eight women in the past six months get great jobs that went from a single family household, uh, a mother of two by herself, now have a living wage and now buying her first home. So oh, HVAC I watch change people's lives. And when I teach these components, and with this partnership, I just believe South Carolinians will really be doing great in 2021. Definitely. Um, one thing I noticed as I did a survey with employees, they want the new student or the new technician to stay off their phone. That's number one. A lot of individuals don't realize when you work with HVAC, it's a hands-on, make sure you can hear, listen, support. And when you're on your cell phone looking down and we're driving to the next stop, you have to articulate what's the temperature outside. Get your mind ready for the next service call. We read the work order, look at the work order and start imagining and thinking, what could it be? Because it's going to be an indoor problem or an outdoor problem, a high voltage problem or a low voltage problem. We should be able to narrow it down within five minutes. The main thing is crawl space. A lot of people say, oh, I could do air conditioning. 
Then you send them to that crawl space with spiders, could be a snake under there. It changes their life. Then you send them up a ladder. Oh my, you gotta go up the ladder, you start looking down. Remember, you need to see either under the house, on the roof, or in the closet. Not always gonna be in the right place. Always remember, it's broken everywhere you go. So you're in attics at 125, 130 degree weather. So therefore, that would be the only thing that gives somebody the shock. One thing I noticed about uh, HVAC, some benefits that helped me in my life was the actual financial freedom. Two, a great paycheck. Three, and it's not just a job, it's a career. You really enjoy when you finish working on somebody's equipment, you get the house up and running. You really enjoy that and have a satisfied feeling that I fixed that. You ride in your van, you can say, I put that system in. I mean, it's an awesome feeling. I'm going to say 130%. We call it the COVID come up. Uh, people have been sitting home realizing the temperature of the house has swings, that the infiltration from the sun been coming through the shades. You're always going to need an HVAC technician. Remember this. Nobody wants to go get a steak out the refrigerator that's already warm. You don't want to go to a refrigerator and find warm food. You will not go shopping in a hot store. So HVAC has been very good to us. I well, thank you very much for your time. I hope you get into this exciting new field for HVAC.